Hi, and in today's quick Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add colour to your font. So here I just have some simple text, and if I want to change the colour of this font for this particular word, just highlight the word, or you can just simply highlight the character. Make sure you're on the Home tab, and then go down to this icon here. Click on the drop down, and you have a number of different colour options here and here. If you don't see the colour of your choice, you can go to more colours. We'll come back to that shortly. So all you do is click on one of these colours and as you can see, your font colour will change. Now, going back to whether your font colour is available, if you have a colour palette or a particular colour that you've seen online or within a photograph, then you can simply import that photograph and take a colour match. So if we just quickly go to Insert, Go down to Picture, Picture from File, and then we'll just click on this screenshot of some colour palettes. Now for these colour palettes you can just simply go online and type into Google colour palettes and there will be a huge amount to choose from. I've just taken a screenshot here, so at the moment I can't move this around, it's a bit clunky, so I just have to sort out the wrapping. Make sure you've highlighted your screenshot or your image. Make sure you're on your picture format tab here, go along to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text and then you can move this round. So all I'm going to do is just highlight that text, go back up to the home tab, along to the colour icon, click on the drop down and go down to more colours. This colour wheel dialog box will appear and at the bottom here is this eyedropper tool. You just select the eyedropper tool, you can see this circle appears. What you need to do is take the circle over the top of the colour that you want and just click. When you're happy, you've selected the right colour. And as you can see, that colour will appear in this box here. And also there's this light and dark and shade slider. So if I want to change that colour, make it slightly dar darker, but it's the same colour, then I can just use this slider. So just go back, highlight this colour and click OK. And there you can see that font has changed to the same green. If I do that again with the top text, go up to the Home tab again, along to the colour icon, more colours, click on the eyedropper tool and click on the yellow. In fact, no, I think we're going to choose the pink and then click OK. As you can see, that's changed. So the second way that you can add font colours, you can continue to use the palette again with all of these different methods. So I'm just going to move that colour palette down there. But the other way to do this is to go along to Insert, and then go along to Word Art, click on the drop down and select from any of these. Now these are all very customisable. So just select one that you like, I'm going to select this one because this has got borders and all sorts on it. I'm just going to stretch that out a bit. I'm going to just double click inside here and again highlight the text, type my own text and then just highlight it, go back to the home tab and I'm just going to increase the size of it by using this increase size icon just so that you can see what's going on. So as you can see this particular font, we've got both an outline and a fill colour. So because this is word art, this is classified as a shape. So as you can see, I've now highlighted this box. This shape format tab appears. If I just click on that shape format tab and go along to format pane, now you can see that you have several options here. Now the shape options refers to the actual box itself. It's a text box. But the text options refer to the actual text inside the box. So if you go to text options, we're then given three additional tabs. So this tab here, if we click on text fill, this is going to refer to the colour inside your text. You can also have a gradient. If you click on a gradient, you can see just very quickly that I've got this gradient going on here and has transferred like this into my font. I'll come back to that in a minute, but if we go to solid fill, down to colour, 
Sorry, you can't see all the colour options, but you know what this dialog box looks like. You can pick from any colour here, or you can again go down to more colours, go down to your eyedropper tool again, and then just simply select from the option. So I think we're going to go to this option down here. And click OK. And you can see that all of our font has been coloured in the same colour rather than just selecting the top bit or the bottom bit. Now, if you wanted these words to be completely different colours, you would have to make two different text boxes. So if I just go back up to the Insert tab, along to word art and just select some more word art. If I just type the word colour in again and then I can move that then double click in here I can remove that word just drag that up and then this word can be completely different you can line these up in a minute I'll show you how to if you're interested um, so again just highlight this word command or control A back up to the home tab and just increase the size Okay, so if you wanted this word to be completely different, again, over on this right-hand menu, you can just click Solid Fill. Oh, right, so this is where it goes wrong. I'm currently on Shape Options, and I need to be on Text Options. So if I just ignore that, go to Text Options, Text Fill, and then I select another colour. Let's just go for a pink colour. So now you can have those fonts completely different colours. So if you want to quickly line them up, highlight the bottom text, hold your command or control key down and click on the top text. You can see they're not quite lined up here so you can either do it manually or you can just simply go up to shape format along to alignment and then quickly go down to align to center and that will line them up and then you can just move them up and down with your arrow keys if you want to. Now we're going to sort out the border so again highlight the particular text you want to refer to and then go down to text outline. Not only here have you got your colour icon again, so you can click on that and change the colour. So let's go to a green. But also you can just see there's a, a faint green outline. If you wanted to increase that outline, if you go to the width option here, you can use these up or down arrows, which will increase, as you can see now, it's increasing that border. Or you can just input a number. It's completely up to you. Then you can deal with the transparency slider and also you can have a number of different options with all of the different lined options that you can have and again with this one here you can just go to solid line fill again choose the color of your choice and again go down to the width option and just increase that width as you see fit you can move these to the center of your page so make sure you've highlighted the get them again by holding down the command or control key Go up to shape format. You can make them into a group once you're happy they're aligned. And now they're a, a group so you can move them around together. You can ungroup them again so don't feel that you can't go back on this. And then if you wanted to center them in the page, all you do is go up to the alignment tab and align to center. And that will center your text in the middle of your page. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.